Hi, this is Robin Moses and I'm going to teach you a tutorial on how to do poinsettias for Christmas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a basic line that will guide you through and give you um, kind of an idea of where you're going to go and put your flowers where. So I'm going to start with black, just a, a very thin black, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you where the flowers are going to go. So it'll be through here, and I'm going to go up through here, and maybe down all the way down through here. So it'll look like that. And then I'm going to go kind of just stay with the with the line of the French manicure. So um, for this French manicure, I made it a little more pink because I'm going to be using red. And when I use red on a pink uh, background, it looks it, it just looks more feminine. Okay, the next step would be to mix. I have let me show you. Oh gosh, this is a mess. I have green, black, and gold, and I'm going to mix that together until a dark green with a little highlight of gold in it. Now, I want it to be pretty dark because I want the red from the poinsettias to show, and I want this to be a dark Christmas green. And so um, I am going to push, 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 pull so that you have a big base going to a little end with a dark green. Now it, when it gets too light you go back in and add black but um, I really don't want them to get light. I want them to stay very dark green. I want them to be as Christmas green as possible to really offset with the dark red that I'm going to make for the poinsettias first set of leaves. So there's that. I'm okay for the next um, part I'm going to do the backgrounds for the leaves for the poinsettias. It's going to be the same leaf as the green leaf, only it's going to be, I've mixed a little bit of cranberry with black to make a dark red. And then um, um, I go through and make the, the bottom layers of this poinsettia. And they're not really going to pop out yet, so they're just one over the other, green and then red over green. And that's what it's going to look like. And I'm going to follow through. I can do one more. Um, this one is going to be the ring finger and it's going to be the most so I'm going to put a big perfect poinsettia here and um, the, as I work my way down and across you can do half poinsettias but you want a full, couple of full poinsettias at least throughout your design so that people will be able to see that they're Christmas flowers. Okay, now for the next step, I'm going to be doing a light red, and I'm going to be going in between the dark red petals. Make sure you're in frame. Okay. I didn't say action yet. <laughs> say it. Action. Okay. So now we're going to be painting the red petals and the uh, the light red petals, and they go in between the dark red petals, and that will give it dimension as to it'll be full of petals. And so here we go and I push in. Now as you go lighter and lighter you want your petals to be more and more precise. You don't have to be as precise with the dark petals as you do with the light. And um, um, it might look like there's a huge difference between the two but um, when I top coat them it's all going to come into one full flower. So we're going to add gold. As you see I've added a little bit here and there just a little bit to accent. Um, I don't want too much gold in one area and I'm going to do another one. I keep going out of frame and I can't see where the colors are so just bear with me. Um, I'm just going to let you watch. And this will give it a more um, holiday look. And maybe I will go in and do a few little curls like so. Back. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the uh, microbeads in the middle of each of the poinsettias, but first I'm going to show you how to test microbeads. Now, some microbeads, as soon as you put top coat on them, they turn silver, and you can't really tell if they're going to turn or not until you use them. So what I do is I put top coat on the lid of my um, jar, then I screw it on, shake it, and then I look on this other side of it and then I take my top coat and I touch it down and I put a little bit of pressure around it and if it turns uh, silver then I know that, I'm, that it's not going to work. 
This one is going to work just fine. See, it didn't change. It's still a really light green. Now, if it would have turned silver and I didn't mind because I wanted to use silver, then it's fine. But there's some that you really need a certain color and then you put it on and you top coat it and it turns silver and it kind of ruins all your work. So you really want to test them out first. Now, I find that the ones that you buy online that come in these little... Um, containers like this, they don't change colors as much as the ones that you buy that come in the wheels. Now, um, what I use is a very uh, cheap and thin base uh, top coat. And see, they look almost silver on this design. And they're not. They're green. So there would be that. And then I'm going to, I'll do one more to show you. The cheap base coat go into the center. You don't want um, the polish that you're applying the beads on to be too thick because then you have too much top coat to dry. So you want the thin coat just to dry real quick. So there's that. And you push them with the side of your brush down into the center and shape them into the circular type of. There you go and then I'm going to top coat and you will see the finished product. Okay and here is the finished product. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can and these are poinsettias finished. Now the colors could be weird so I want you guys to go to my blog and check them out and comment and subscribe and there. I hope you guys learned a lot. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!